Good evening, fans. We're here live at Valley Springs Gymnasium where we've got the Jasper Pirates come into town to take on your Valley Springs Tigers. I'm Mike Whitescover alongside Josh Morris. He's getting set for National Anthem Pledge and starting lineups. Here well, we are set for tip-off. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we had the right idea at the same time. Oh, Tiger's going to get started early. We may see all the way up. Love to see those easy baskets right away. Mike Jasper is a 1A class uh, coming in and playing in this matchup here. Both teams done fairly well uh, in the tournament, I believe, that was held over in Flippin' just a while back. Rebound. 
Mike, it feels like we've been uh, been gone a while. We haven't done this in forever, it seems like. It sure does. These games have been spread out a little bit. There's a there's a tip and and steal. Oh, Taylor passed it inadvertently, got tipped there. Good move right there. Yeah, Tiana Siebert, she's going to draw the foul. She's going to send go to the line and shoot in a couple. Yeah, Mike, the schedule of the games this year have been a little bit uh, a little bit different than what we were accustomed to. Uh, we usually get a little more action here, it seems like. Um, not saying the teams haven't played. They have, but they've just been traveling. And girls went down to Benton, and they played in the Classic down there just here recently. Um, and our boys played over in Salem for a little bit. It's kind of hard to believe already, Mike, that we're going into the, uh, fixing to go to the Christmas break Christmas in a couple break. of short weeks. Yep. And that was a layup, put up, mm -hmm. miss, but then rebounded by Jasper and put up and good. That's, that's a couple bad turnovers there by Valley Springs. Macy gonna take it all the way. They're gonna say that's baseline on the floor. So you gotta get rid of it or this another turnover by the Lady Tigers. Ooh. <laughs> Macy picked her pocket but knocked it out of bounds and tried to save it. It was unsuccessful. Cammy with a block. Kimmy was a half a second too late on that at steal attempt. Yeah, she about got it, was fixing to go the other way with it. But it's a good pass. It was. Oh, but got to go up and finish strong on that. Both teams. Once again, another steal. For so Laramie Watkins checking in for Eliza Drury. Right now, Josh, I see better ball movement from Jasper Lady Pirates. Right. Just keeping Valley on their toes, just going everywhere right now. It's kind of creating some some mismatches a little bit. Yeah, and the Lady Tigers seem like they're playing a, a little bit slow to react to those passes. Almost lo looks kind of lazy, but, but not really lazy. They're just a, a fraction behind. Yeah, not reading the ball well. Good lead out pass to Cammy, and she's going to draw a foul and go to the line to shoot a couple. This is a good opportunity for Cammy to put some more points on the board to kind of help the team get get a little more momentum as she misses that first one. They'll make the second one though. <laughs> Blocked by Taylor. Struggling to get it. Good deflection there by Laramie. 
Willis has it. She's going to go ahead and just bring it on down. Taylor there for the loose ball, puts it up and good. Willis slow to get up. She hit pretty hard coming down. Oh. She thought she was going to stay there, but she cut, and so a bad pass. Turns it over for Jasper. Back in the game is Elijah Drury. She's going to give Katie a break. That was a good pass. Cammy just couldn't convert on it, but it was a good pass yeah, there. It was tough because she had to go underneath the basket to, to put that up. Right. She was calling for it to get it down there, but she just led her a little bit too far. But good idea, and I'm sure they'll go back to that a little bit later. Looks like Coach Grice for Jasper is going to call a timeout. We'll take one with him. We'll be right back. Folks, here we are. We are back now from the timeout here. Jasper set to inbound here. Oh, good steal by Cammy. Looking for some help. Finds Macy. Willis dribbling around. Finds Drury on the elbow. Hard off the glass off of Taylor's head. So it's a good opportunity, good, I mean, good look. She just couldn't put it down. She thought about it a couple times. Basket put up and rebounds, gets out of there. That's gonna be a jump ball. Possession's gonna go to Valley Springs. To be honest right now, Josh, it just looks like the Jasper Lady Pirates want to go get it more than the They're being a little the more aggressive, yeah. yeah. I mean, I could see a little more aggressiveness from them uh, than I do out of our girls. Oh, that was a good turn. Laramie off the glass, couldn't get it to go down. She's going to draw a foul, go to the line. Yeah, that was a good play drawn up, and she, she, had, that, uh, she had that cut wide open. Chance to tie here. She'll make the first. Makes both of them. Tie ball game now. So Tigers coming up from a half court to a three quarter. Press. Shot, a little deep, no good. Cammy with the rebound, leads. Oh, let her too far. Jasper gets a hold of it, but loses it. And Valley Springs is gonna go ahead and retain possession down here under their own goal. Good idea, but they had it blocked off.
Got her trapped. There'll be a jump ball there. It's going to go to Jasper. Deflected off Drury's hand. <laughs> That's going to be a shot clock violation. No matter how long it, it's been, Josh, it still gets me. Every time. Every time that buzzer goes off and there's time still on the clock. Collision down there. Oh, they're going to get her. Oh, foul first. Liza Drury with the foul. Coming back in is going to be Macy Willis. Going to give Taylor a break. Foul called there. That is going to go against Katie Henson. Oh, loose ball there. Back into the hands of Drury. Off the glass by number 24, Willie Young. And that's the end of the first. The Tigers trail 7 to 9. We'll be back in a minute. This is Ansley with BJ Manufacturing. If you're in need of high quality hay moving or animal feeding equipment, ask for our locally made products at your favorite farm supply store. You can also buy direct from my dad, Keith, by calling 870 437 2944. Check us out on Facebook or at bjmanufacturing.com. Thanks for your business, and go Tigers! Carnahan's Barn, proud supporters of the Valley Springs Tigers, have their barn loaded with proven banner-winning genetics from top breeders across the U.S. If you want to make a winning drive and hang purple banners in your barn, let Carnahan's Farms help you banner up this show season. Contact them at 870-553-PIGS. That's 870-553-7447. Follow and like them on Facebook and Instagram, at Carnahan Farm. All right, folks, here we are. We're back here. Quarter break, start of the second quarter. Tigers get the opening possession here. And Macy going to nice draw a move. foul win a one. So a chance now to take the lead. And makes that one fall. her open too much and she put it up and in. Sure she did. We were double teaming and that, you know, couldn't get uh, 
couldn't recover fast enough. No, I've kind of been watching a little bit all uh, night. You're right, they didn't recover to the open player. Uh, but they've been content to just kind of let her be open for a lot of those, and she's been hesitant not shooting. And I think this time she said, I'm going to go ahead and shoot, and she definitely made us pay for not guarding her. Ooh, and she almost went back court. I like this move right here by Coach Johnson. Do a little half court, three quarter court trap. Maybe get your girls a little bit fired up. So the Euro step there, and she converts it. So maybe She's get them a little fired up, a little. Uh, you know, they're, get them going a little bit. Right, right. get a little energy in them, a little right. pep in their step. Good pass to Macy, but couldn't finish. So turnover for Jasper. Sometimes all it takes is just changing the pace of the game. And, and if if speeding Jasper up is, is to our advantage, maybe, you know, that, that full court press will help there. Uh-huh. That's two layups Macy's drove in and couldn't get the fall. Yeah, everything looks good up to the point of at the very end where she's got to convert that. And she hasn't hasn't done it those last two layups. And the Pirates now on a 7-0 run uh, since Macy's made her last point at the free throw line to take the lead. And Willa Young, who gets the foul, has had five of those seven. Hmm. I think Macy thought that she was over the line with that, but Cammy open for three in the corner, and she's going to put it down. That's a good assist right there. Drew that defense into her and then kicked it to the corner. Much needed bucket that the Tigers needed now. 13 16 is the score. Tigers can get the possession off of a rebound there. Coming now, finds Macy over there in the corner again. She's going to go ahead and try to drive it. Backside layup, no good, but Trammell there with the rebound. And her pocket picked right out of that. Open look. No good there. And they're going to say she was got body behind her there. So that foul is going to go to Tiana Siebert, number 22. Checking into the game now going to be Ava Johnson and Laramie Watkins going to give Elijah Drury and Macy Willis a break. Two young players coming in and getting some good game minutes here. Sure enough. There you go. Tigers need to do a little, utilize Taylor a little bit more there. She's getting the position there. Now she's just got to finish there. <laughs> Stuck her hands out and the ball came right to her. Oh. Couldn't quite get a hold of it before she went to the goal there. Katie going up the rebound, knocked it loose. Good block out by Taylor. But Tigers now finally get the loose ball. I like what Laramie was doing there, bringing that baseline, trying to sneak in and catch it, but that down low defender was able to read it and deflect it out of bounds.
Got to get it in. There you go. Good job of Cammy realizing where she was at that time and put it off the glass smooth. Yeah, I'd like to see her, honestly, utilized more in the post right there because that was a good, good look, and, and she put it up strong. It's a call a walk for Jasper. That's going to be another turnover. Cammy Moore going to be coming out now as Eliza Drury comes back in. And the Tigers are on a 7-0 run now. <laughs> a lot of turnovers in this game, Mike. Both teams a little bit with ball control, kind of not being able to pass sure it. Deflected deep three by Katie, and she'll put it down. That's good offense right there. Good patient offense, good passes. Everything was under control when she shot that. Macy once again with a wild looking free throw or layup and she Katie draws once the, again. <laughs> draws the foul, but, but sometimes in the case, Josh, with our Lady Tigers, they get on a transition and it's like they, they, they don't know where exactly to go with the basketball and, and it results in wild shots like that sometimes. But on the other hand, when they had that half court offense and they, they knew exactly where they were going, everything was under control, passes were good, worked out really well. Right. Violet coming as coming in as Taylor Trammell steps out. And, and that's not to say they can't run because we've seen this Lady Tigers team, they've got a lot of transition players that can make layups and whatnot, but it looks like in this game, they've gotten on transition and they haven't been under control. Now this one right here, that was under control. Right. I mean, you, you knew she was gonna take it all the way. And as timeouts called by Coach Grice for Jasper, we're going to take one right along with him. We'll be back. Some play. Can you break that down for us? Um, I didn't see what happened. What play? You wouldn't hire an amateur to do that job. Why would you hire an amateur to do my job? Let me, Kimberly Keeter, with Farm Bureau Insurance, help you with your insurance needs. Please call me for all of your home, your auto, your health, and your life insurance needs. All right, folks, as I look for the ball here with the camera, <laughs> I had to find what, what sideline they were going to bring it in at. Did you get to chatting during that commercial with your uh, co-host a little too much? Yeah, a little bit. Kind of. <laughs> he kind of caused me to lose track of positioning there. but uh, I'd blame him, too. Yeah, we're, we're working on communication better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like Violet Game is is in the game. Is this this first time she's checked in? Yeah, I believe so. She went up, swiping at it though. You gotta be careful with that. Sure and some foul to get called. And that's the first point scored by the Pirates. In the you know, last 14 for the Tigers. Violet's got that you know physical build that you want a low post player, but she doesn't quite have enough height. We'll take that all day as Laramie drains a three. 100%, she put that one down. And I think now Lady Tigers might kind of be starting to heat up shooting wise and that's gonna be a jump ball possession going to the Lady Pirates. Moore and Trammell coming in as Watkins and Gomez comes out. Coming in for the Pirates. Number 20, Jaden Middleton. And she comes in for number 30, Laney Daniels. My apologies for any Jasper fans maybe watching as I haven't been calling those substitutions as well. Yeah. 
That right there is a good job in transition, realizing you don't have the fast break numbers and just backing it right out and let's run our half court offense here. Good pass, hard over there. Cammy had to go ahead. Tigers looks like, I think that's the one of the first offensive rebounds I've seen us get. Drury for movement. three. Couldn't get that one to fall. Young gets it over to Lila Ralston there. Ralston's going to go ahead and drive the lane and puts it up and good. Willis back out to Trammell. Henson for another deep three. No good there. Yep. They're going to get Taylor for the foul on that one. Lila was blocking out, uh, Lila Ralston blocking out Trammell really well. And the only way Taylor was going to get positioning on that ball was to just swing around her. And fortunately right. she did, <laughs> but a foul was going to be inevitable. A deep three for Jasper, no good there. Willie Young gets the rebound. Jump ball going to go to the Tigers. Thirty-five seconds to go in this first half. Shot clock and the game clock pretty much in sync. Not the band. Oh, and she loses control going out with it. They're going to say it was off the hands of a pirate. So five seconds to go in this first half. And quickly, a timeout call by Coach Johnson. Let's stick right here for just a moment here, Mike. You know, Mike, I'm, I'm, if you're Coach Johnson fixing going to halftime, not so much what this play that you're about to call, but what are you going to tell your girls when you get into the locker room? Yeah, I'm probably going to tell them we played a little bit sloppy, but as the second quarter came to an end, we did some good things right. We did some good things. We got our hands in the passing lanes, got some steals, converted into some baskets. Our half-court offense hasn't looked bad. It's, it's the transition when we get to go, and, and it's almost like we're going too fast. So we just need to be under control is what I would say. And, you know, we've got to play hard on the defensive end. Right. If I'm Coach Grice fixing to go in there, I'm telling my girls continue to do it, but let's press a little harder. Uh, right. can try to go ahead and create more turnovers and more opportunities. Yeah. But the other thing is rebounding. Sure, yeah. The Lady Pirates have had good success driving to the basket. That's a good look, but she just couldn't get it to fall. Yeah, she struggled with that tonight. Well, that's the end of the first half. 27-20 is the score right now. Lady Tigers lead over the Lady Pirates. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a few moments for the start of the second half. 25 years of memories, 25 years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. 25 years of community. Because of you, we've forged long-lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in 25 years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We are celebrating 25 years of First Community Bank, and the best is yet to come. Push to talk over cellular technology has found applications in a variety of industries where fast and efficient communication is crucial. It offers a convenient and scalable way to keep teams connected, regardless of their location within cellular network coverage. We keep your business connected, across the street or across the country. Ozark Communications has you covered. Tired of 
are drinking the Pinto of waters? Try switching to the Cadillac of waters. And then I saw her face. Aunt Bee's Bed and Biscuit, servicing all of your boarding needs that you have for your Bark Buddy. We have indoor and outdoor playgrounds that give you Bark Buddy the ultimate vacation while you are away. Aunt Bee, Toby, and the Bark Buddy crew proudly support the Valley Springs Tigers. Are you ready to build your dream from the ground up? Then look no further than Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation. With our team of highly skilled professionals, we're ready to tackle all your residential and commercial projects while delivering an unmatched level of quality, reliability, and affordability. Contact us today for a free estimate at Build a Better Future with Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation, proud supporters of Valley Springs Athletics. This is Ansley with BJ Manufacturing. If you're in need of high quality hay moving or animal feeding equipment, ask for our locally made products at your favorite farm supply store. You can also buy direct from my dad Keith by calling 870-437-2944. Check us out on Facebook or at bjmanufacturing.com. Thanks for your business and go Tigers! Farms, proud supporters of the Valley Springs Tigers, have their barn loaded with proven banner winning genetics from top breeders across the U.S. If you want to make a winning drive and hang purple banners in your barn, let Carnahan Farms help you banner up this show season. Contact them at 870-553-PIGS. That's 870-553-7447. Follow and like them on Facebook and Instagram at Carnahan Farms. Kimberly, man, what an awesome play. Can you break that down for us? Um, I didn't see what happened. What play? You wouldn't hire an amateur to do that job. Why would you hire an amateur to do my job? Let me, Kimberly Keeter, with Farm Bureau Insurance, help you with your insurance needs. Please call me for all of your home, your auto, your health, and your life insurance needs. 25 years of memories, 25 years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. 25 years of community. Because of you, we've forged long-lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in 25 years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We are celebrating 25 years of First Community Bank, and the best is yet to come.
push to talk over cellular technology has found applications in a variety of industries where fast and efficient communication is crucial. It offers a convenient and scalable way to keep teams connected, regardless of their location within cellular network coverage. We keep your business connected, across the street or across the country. Ozark Communications has you covered. Tired of drinking the Penta of waters? Try switching to the Cadillac of waters. And then I saw her face. Ant Bee's Bed and Biscuit, servicing all of your boarding needs that you have for your Bark Buddy. We have indoor and outdoor playgrounds that give you Bark Buddy the ultimate vacation while you are away. Ant Bee, Toby, and the Bark Buddy crew proudly support the Valley Springs Tigers. All right, folks, here we are. We are back now, start of the second half here. Looks like the Pirates are going to have the ball the opening quarter of this uh, second half. Uh, Mike, we talked a little bit before the halftime as far as what, what we would do as, uh, uh, as the other coaches for the in-game adjustments. And so we'll just see, just kind of see what we've, uh, what we've got here. Tigers do lead 27-20 right now. So it's it's been a back and forth game when it comes to turnovers, as we see one there go in favor for the Tigers. Sure has. Uh, the lead's changed a few times and gone up. Both teams have been up by five to seven points. Oh, Drew opening That's the That's a good look. It was. She'll hit one eventually there because they, uh, they left her wide open on that right there. Another steal. Taylor going to bring it down here. Slows it down, gives it over to Macy. Wise choice, Taylor. <laughs> Pirates in that 2 1 2 pre uh, zone. Yeah, this zone defense a lot of times gives shooters an open look, especially if you get one drifting down to the corner like Eliza was mm -hmm. previous play. Oh, there's a a well drawn Perfect. up play. Yeah. Great job there by Taylor just sliding over there, center lane being open for it. Oh, ooh, that was close. I thought that was on the line. I think there you go. Yep, it's a foul. You know, Katie was in position for that rebound, had the girl behind her. She's got to grab that rebound and get it strong in her hands. She let that other girl like knock it out of her hands. Uh -huh. She's really got to come down with it stronger. A lot of our rebounders have been that way tonight. Cammy in the corner. Couldn't get that one to fall, but Macy there for the rebound. Good job. Good job, there. yeah, by Macy. Drury just a little short on that one, but once again, Tigers for the second offensive rebound this possession. Good quick ball movement there. And Macy with a little short jumper there, just like that. The mid-range game is not dead. You see collegiate and NBA, and they don't have mid-range. They have three-pointer, they have inside. That's all they have. <laughs> Everybody wants that long ball. Yeah. Wants that long ball. I mean, I mean, like Steph Curry just shooting it from half court. I mean, that's... You take twos all day, and he'll beat you every game with threes. Yep. Oh, block there by Taylor into the hands of Katie. Oh. You know, Mike, we've talked about it in years past, and it just seems like, oh, left her wide open. She couldn't finish again. Struggles there right now. She'll find it, hopefully. She's getting the looks, but just couldn't get that one to go down. 
But that was one of the things we've talked about in years past. A good open look there. Shot put up by number 20. That's Jaden Middleton. Eliza. She'd have been better off just backing that up and setting up the half court. And another turnover, Willis. Middleton. Nothing falling there. Taylor with the rebound. Not a whole lot of movement by the Tigers. Drury in the corner. Still couldn't get it to fall. And that's going to be a foul on Taylor. <laughs> Coming into the game, Watkins and Gomez, Drury, and Willis out. Ball movement by Jasper, good job there, keeping it moving, keeping Tigers on their heels. Willow with a Euro, Whoa, and my. puts it in. There's a turnover by the Lady Tigers. But to go back to what I was saying a little bit earlier, Mike, we had, <laughs> I got distracted with all these other things going on. Corner shot put up. That one's gonna fall. I believe that was number three, Maggie Thomas. But uh, we've talked about it in seasons past, but in a timeout call by Coach Johnson, we'll stick right here. But the uh, the, the passing game for, for both boys and girls alike. We've seen it in years. The, the crisp passing is not there anymore. Uh, it's been tough to, I mean, I, maybe I'm old school. Maybe I like to see them hard crisp passes all the way around to good quick to make sure you keep the team moving. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of, here's a little sloppy bounce pass. Here's a little lob over here. And, right. You know, and noth nothing, Nothing wrong with that in times past, but if you really want to keep a defense on their heels and not know where the ball's going or being able to, to deflect or intercept those things, you got to be quick with them. Right. And right now, Tigers aren't doing that, and we haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, yeah, it's that fast ball movement. And, and beyond that, it's, it's got to be accurate passes, and we haven't seen a lot of that tonight. We're back now out of that timeout. It's Valley Springs basketball with a 31-27 lead. And we've talked a lot about, you know, turnovers and whatnot. But the Lady Tigers have done some good things, and that was a good drive right there, and she draws the foul. You know, Mike, we've also talked a little bit about, with, we've said it earlier, the Macy struggling a little bit, finishing off some of these drives and layups down the, down the lane. But, uh, you know, I have to wonder if maybe some of the, maybe some of what's going on is maybe a lingering from an injury that she had early on in the season. Yeah, yeah, and you mentioned it during, you know, timeout. It may take her some time to get back into, uh, you know, the, the rhythm and flow of things. So that free throw miss there for 
And then uh, Jasper comes down, misses that opportunity. Cammie Moore comes up with the rebound. She's going to bring it down the court, gets it over to Willis. There's the look. Finds Gomez down there, but she couldn't capitalize on the opportunity. Got her trapped in the corner. Bad pass there, Willis comes up with a loose ball. Good, good idea. Good take right there. Sure was. That give and go is the uh, it's the uh, RPO of basketball. Bounced it right into Katie's hands. Oh, bad pass. And Middleton, she's going to draw a foul going to the line. Couple subs check in. Ava Johnson checks in for the Lady Tigers. Lady Pirates now within six. Closing the gap slowly, it was within seven. Good cut pass. Watkins couldn't quite get that one to go in as well. Yep, got it for a charge. Yep, and she was, she was playing it pretty solid there. Probably, probably could have uh, been questionable because it looked like she took a foot and stepped up. But either way, that one foot was planted. Thirty seconds to go. Blocked by Cami. Cami's had a few blocks tonight. Oh. Willis is going to finally get that one to go through. She, that right there may have given her a little pep in her step. Chance to get another one to add to it. Couldn't get that one to complete. No shot there, and that's the end of three. 36-28 is the score. We'll take a break and be back for the fourth and final quarter. Are you ready to build your dream from the ground up? Then look no further than Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation. With our team of highly skilled professionals, we're ready to tackle all your residential and commercial projects while delivering an unmatched level of quality, reliability, and affordability. Contact us today for a free estimate and build a better future with Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation, proud supporters of Valley Springs Athletics.
This is Ansley with BJ Manufacturing. If you're in need of high quality hay moving or animal feeding equipment, ask for our locally made products at your favorite farm supply store. You can also buy direct from my dad, Keith, by calling eight. All right, folks, here we are. Start of the fourth quarter here. Tigers set the inbound here. Deflection by Jasper out of bounds. They're going to inbound one more time. Try this again. Deep three by Willis. Off the glass, but Watkins there to rebound. Finds her cutting. And Willis misses, but Taylor gets it and puts it in. Katie driving, not Katie, excuse me, Eliza driving. Working hard against them, nothing going for her though. Everything looked good, she's got, when she goes up, she's gotta use that left hand. Yep. Cause she got, she got stuck with the right hand and didn't have a good angle. 15 on the shot clock now as the Tigers gonna inbound. Good interior oh, pass. Just gotta know where you're at under the glass. Good hands right there. She's got the open look. Puts a little floater up and good. And a, and a draw, timeout called by Coach Grice. We'll take a quick one with him. We'll be right back. Hi. This is Ansley with BJ Manufacturing. If you're in need of high quality hay moving or animal feeding equipment, ask for our locally made products at your favorite farm supply store. You can also buy direct from my dad Keith by calling 870-437-2944. Check us out on Facebook or at bjmanufacturing.com. Thanks for your business and go Tigers. Here we are, folks, here out of the timeout. Tigers up 40 to 28. While it might be a 12-point advantage for the Tigers, uh, don't let that fool you. Jasper hanging in there just as tough. Must uh, have had a technical. Yeah, I didn't see that. I'm not sure what happened on that situation there. Might have come right before the timeout. We didn't catch that. Apologize. So it's two shots in the basketball for the Lady Tigers. It's, it had to have been a technical now, uh, looking over at the side of the bench for Jasper. Uh, Coach Grice sitting down uh, by rule. If they get a technical, they have to remain sitting. They, they're not allowed to stand and coach. They can sit and coach, but they can't stand. Under six to go. Drury making that second free throw.
No shot, you're gonna stay on the floor. It was a good deep though, like she was gonna be the screener and then she just turns around in a low post move and, and has a girl on her hip. Five seconds, that looked like that was pretty quick, but at the same time, it was long enough that it was. Sure. Off the glass, no good. Middleton with the rebound. Comes back up a little short jumper, no good there. Oh, I got ahead of the ball. Three point by Willis. Off the back end of the iron. Taylor couldn't get that one to convert. I don't know if Macy thought someone was cutting the baseline <laughs> and tried to do a behind the back pass. Well, I think that was a, uh-oh. Let me throw it up and hope one of our players is there because she kind of got out of control a little bit. Once again, Ooh. out of bounds on Jasper. Well, that, that looked like that came off Cammy's hand, honestly. Unless one of the other girls down low got it that we couldn't see. Sure. Finally, the Tigers able to put it in after three or four failed attempts. Pretty good success, though, if Macy can get a girl on her hip right there and just muscle her way in. Speaking of muscling her way, she's going to go to the line for two. And that's going to be five on number 22, Tiana Siebert. Excuse me, no. Yeah, it was. Coming in for her, number 21, Ray Stokes. That's a good rebound. It was. <clears throat> I think they're going to say baseline on that one on the floor. Sometimes just reading that yep. basketball off the rim and, and boxing your, your opponent out just like that is a, an art. So because that foul was the fifth foul, team foul, that's going to shoot, make it a two-shot foul. And timeout call once again by Coach Jeff from Jasper. We'll take one with him. Carnahan Farm, proud supporters of the Valley Springs Tigers, have their barn loaded with proven banner-winning genetics from top breeders across the U.S. If you want to make a winning drive and hang purple banners in your barn, let Carnahan Farms help you banner up this show season. Contact them at 870-553-PIGS. 
That's 870-553-7447. Follow and like them on Facebook and Instagram at Carnahan Farm. All right, folks, here we are at the timeout break here. Willis for the second shot, and that one's good. Drew with quick hands. They're going to say back court. Okay. I think they're going to say that she got possession in their front court before she went backwards after the ball was tipped. Um, okay. Hey, Katie got one. I believe that's her second for the night. A couple of them pretty deep shots. Willis is going to step out. So is Taylor Trammell. Watkins is going to set the inbound. Cami Moore is out as well as Gomez, Watkins, and Johnson come in. You know that right there is what you get when you dribble once and pick it right up. Uh, no. It's tough to get rid of it as soon as you know you dribble once, pick it up. That's that's never a good. Good idea. Right. Good play by Breedlove for Jasper. Oh, I'm going to that is centered to the line for a couple. First shot up and good. And two. Loose ball and rebound. Grabbed by Breedlove. Puts it up and good. Two rebounds. Press coming on by the Pirates now. Yep, double. Open, couldn't convert it there. She got closed <laughs> off real quickly. Into the hands of Watkins. <laughs> Fell right into her lap. Oh, good idea with the Euro, just did, couldn't get it to complete. Good three-point shot put up by Maggie Thomas. Good off the glass by Gomez. Yeah, it's a good cut, and then she hesitated and got, got her defender up in the air. Got in good position, making sure she wasn't too far into the goal. Oh, 
So that's the pass or the press break that they're looking at, uh, but you just gotta be better with your passes. Three point bucket put up. That was number 15, Lila Ralston. Oh, you gotta pass it better than that. That's a, a good idea, but you gotta get a hard pass over to it. Middleton shot good. Oh, and Breedlove caught him sleeping. And that's going to be the end of the game, folks. 55 to 40 is your final. And uh, congratulations to the Lady Tigers on winning this game. And with the Lady Pirates, congratulations. And uh, we'll uh, good luck to the rest of your season there. We're going to take a break and be back for the start of the final game tonight with the senior boys. We'll be right back. Some play. Can you break that down for us? Um, I didn't see what happened. What play? You wouldn't hire an amateur to do that job. Why would you hire an amateur to do my job? Let me, Kimberly Keeter, with Farm Bureau Insurance, help you with your insurance needs. Please call me for all of your home, your auto, your health, and your life insurance needs. 25 years of memories, 25 years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. 25 years of community. Because of you, we've forged long-lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in 25 years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We are celebrating 25 years of First Community Bank, and the best is yet to come. Push to talk over cellular technology has found applications in a variety of industries where fast and efficient communication is crucial. It offers a convenient and scalable way to keep teams connected, regardless of their location within cellular network coverage. We keep your business connected, across the street or across the country. Ozark Communications has you covered. Tired of drinking the Pinto of Waters? Try switching to the Cadillac of water. And then I saw her face. I'm a believer. And not a trace. A doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I could leave her if I tried. Aunt Bee's Bed and Biscuit, servicing all of your boarding needs that you have for your Bark Buddy. We have indoor and outdoor playgrounds that give you Bark Buddy the ultimate vacation while you are away. Aunt Bee, Toby, and the Bark Buddy crew proudly support the Valley Springs Tigers. Are you ready to build your dream from the ground up? 
can look no further than Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation. With our team of highly skilled professionals, we're ready to tackle all your residential and commercial projects while delivering an unmatched level of quality, reliability, and affordability. Contact us today for a free estimate and build a better future with Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation. Proud supporters of Valley Springs Athletics. This is Ansley with BJ Manufacturing. If you're in need of high quality hay moving or animal feeding equipment, ask for our locally made products at your favorite farm supply store. You can also buy direct from my dad Keith by calling 870-437-2944. Check us out on Facebook or at bjmanufacturing.com. Thanks for your business and go Tigers! Carnahan Farms, proud supporters of the Valley Springs Tigers, have their barn loaded with proven banner winning genetics from top breeders across the U.S. If you want to make a winning drive and hang purple banners in your barn, let Carnahan Farms help you banner up this show season. Contact them at 870-553-PIGS. That's 870-553-7447. Follow and like them on Facebook and Instagram at Carnahan Farms. Kimberly, man, what an awesome play. Can you break that down for us? Um, I didn't see what happened. What play? You wouldn't hire an amateur to do that job. Why would you hire an amateur to do my job? Let me, Kimberly Keeter, with Farm Bureau Insurance, help you with your insurance needs. Please call me for all of your home, your auto, your health, and your life insurance needs. 25 years of memories, 25 years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. 25 years of community. Because of you, we forged long-lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in 25 years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We are celebrating 25 years of First Community Bank, and the best is yet to come. Push to talk over cellular technology has found applications in a variety of industries where fast and efficient communication is crucial. It offers a convenient and scalable way to keep teams connected, regardless of their location within cellular network coverage. We keep your business connected, across the street or across the country. Ozark Communications has you covered. Tired of drinking the Pinto of waters? Try switching to the Cadillac of waters. And then I saw her face.
and Fee's Bed and Biscuit, servicing all of your boarding needs that you have for your Bark Buddy. We have indoor and outdoor playgrounds that give you Bark Buddy the ultimate vacation while you are away. Hint B, Toby, and the Bark Buddy crew proudly support the Valley Springs Tigers. Are you ready to build your dream from the ground up? Then look no further than Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation. With our team of highly skilled professionals, we're ready to tackle all your residential and commercial projects while delivering an unmatched level of quality, reliability, and affordability. Contact us today for a free estimate and build a better future with Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation, proud supporters of Valley Springs Athletics. All right, and we are back live for the second matchup tonight, the boys, senior boys matchup. to the Valley Springs Tigers, bringing you your Valley Springs Tig Tigers starting lineup. Josh, you mentioned earlier um, that, you know, you did a little watching of, of the Jasper Pirates, and you mentioned how they like to get up and down the court, and, and we like to get up and down the court. I could see this really becoming a, a fast-paced matchup tonight. It's going to be exciting nonetheless. Um, after last match, the last game was a little bit slower, a little bit sloppier. I'm hoping to see some fast, crisp action tonight and, uh, you know, some up and down pace that, that you mentioned. Yeah, Mike, I mean, I think that you, like, you've got a size matchup, as you probably mentioned there already. And, uh, I mean, look, just right now, looking the, down at Nate Hellams, uh, as well as number 52, Spencer Trawick. A uh, good size match up there, but yeah, Nate Helms is going to come up with it. Uh, it's going to be a nice, nice, nice to see how that goes with us tonight. Quick three, look up by Keaton Carnahan, no good there, but all of Jasper Pirates down there below to get the rebound. Ty Williams for Jasper, bringing it across the court there, going to get it over to Willis. In the corner. That's Blake Williams. I said Willis a while ago. I meant Ty Williams. But well, Blake Williams Boy, was able to hit that those three. Those first two possessions looked eerily similar. Both teams moved the ball, got a corner three look that they wanted. One made it. The other one just, just didn't quite make it. Right. But they looked similar. Carey thought about it, decided no to. Gets over to Blaine. Back up to the movement. elbow. Carnahan once again on the second attempt, no chance there. Ty Williams brings it across the timeline there. Rebound by Nate Hellams. Good straight up defense by Carnahan there. 
Carey for three. Nothing there. <laughs> I've said it forever. I hate that play, but it does work, and it comes to your benefit. It sure does. Nothing. Good hustle by both teams there. I guess if I could hate this one, everybody can hate the tush push in football, Mike. <laughs> Good job by Nate. Not fouling, just getting a hand on there. Getting over the top of that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we've seen one basket so far. Oh, just three in and out. As I'm just getting the score put in, there's a big block by Nate. I think that was Ty Williams that decided to go up with that, but was blocked. It was either Ty or Blake. It was one of the Williams boys. <laughs> Blake puts that one up and down. And quickly the Tigers find themselves trailing 6-0 and a press put on by the Jasper Pirates. Nice, easy little press attack there. Oh, he took yep. too, too many steps. Just too much leaning back. He couldn't quite see him, but he had Carnahan open in the corner. As now Valley Springs counters with their own press. Oh, block on the three-pointer by Helms. Good hustle all around again. We're going to get a jump, jump ball. ball. Going to stay with it. It's not real often you see a three-pointer just rejected right back in a guy's face. But it happens from time to time. <laughs> Jumper from the free throw line. Oh, just slips out of Nate's hands. It's gonna go back to Jasper with a six point lead right now. Two threes they've made. Valley's missed a couple threes on our end. Good defense there by Logan Avery getting his hands in there. Tigers got to settle in, find a rhythm there as Roberson puts up a three, but hard off the glass. That rhythm's going to come right there as Nate corrals the rebound, gets it to go, and it's going to go to the line for a three point opportunity. You know, and Mike, you have to also look too and see what Jasper's doing there. They're actually sinking two down below on Nate. They're going to create as much of a disruption down there between uh, Sawyer. And uh, sorry, Spencer. Sorry, Willis and Spencer. Trey, we, we know they're going to have to create some dis disruptions down there. So, and uh, as he puts that free throw in, good. And once again, the press by the Tigers. Just something to get the Tigers going there. And maybe that's the spark we needed. Oh, oh. nice move by number five. Got yeah. Nate up and oh, they're going to call it on the floor. I'm shocked they didn't go ahead Ooh. and give him the bucket. Um, yeah. But nonetheless, it's a good move by by number five, Elijah Campbell. They're gonna say he come down, he was down and decided to go ahead and get on his back and that's what caused it, so no shot. Either way, I thought he was trying to shoot. Right, that's the first foul on Nate. Whoa, that's a couple of fumbles that the Tigers have had on this defensive end. Gotta be sure and corral that and, and Jasper converts. Quickly oh, up, the eight ball to three. slick or the court slick or what's going on here? Good, Good press movement. attack. Yeah, mm. couldn't get that in the fall. But again, four Jasper Pirates down there to one to rebound. Tigers have got to do a better job of crashing those boards to come down there and give Nate a little bit of help. Good job by Carnahan getting a hand Great in there, knocking hands. that loose. He comes down with speed. He's going to work it. Mm. Couldn't get it to convert. Good defense by Jasper. He's going to lead up. Away. And good. 10 to 3 right now. Pirates lead right now over the Tigers. Mm -hmm. Tigers find themselves struggling to just get a bucket. You know, they've had some open looks. They've all been threes. Um, Jasper's given us that. Just haven't cashed them in. Good Strong job, right Avery. Now. Good job, Avery, getting that rebound, putting it up, bringing the clock gap now to five as Coach Austin is going to take a timeout. We'll take one with him. Hi, this is Ansley with BJ Manufacturing. If you're in need of high-quality, hay-moving, or animal feeding equipment, 
Ask for our locally made products at your favorite farm supply store. You can also buy direct from my dad, Keith, by calling 870-437-2944. Check us out on Facebook or at bjmanufacturing.com. Thanks for your business, and go Tigers! All right, folks, here we are. We're back now out of the timeout break by Coach O. Tigers was able to get a bucket there, closing the gap now. They're down by five with just under four minutes to go in this first quarter. Uh, press put on by the Pirates. Sorry, excuse me, by the Tigers. Pirates going to try to work down here. Blake over to Ty Williams. Campbell driving, nothing there. Tiger's gonna come away with this. Uh, we didn't even call him because he come in. Spall Parker checked Spall in. checked yes. in. Keaton will draw that foul. <clears throat> Parker came in for Blaine Robertson. Nate coming in. Oh, couldn't get it, but gets his own rebound, but draws a foul there. They just oh, teed up they number. Sure did. I didn't see what happened, but they teed up. Uh, that's Blake Williams. I don't know if he said something. I, or I think what? he did. I think he said something that the official didn't like. There's the referees or whether they're discussing that with the with the coach. They're telling him what's going on. Even Williams was not sure what the was, why or what got the call. Well, folks, if you're at home, I think you've got the opportunity that you can actually rewind and take a look at yourself. Uh, to see what maybe he was. I believe he was in the camera shot. Maybe you saw it uh, as uh, Nate was able to get one of his two and now Carnahan coming to shoot the two for the technical. And he'll make both of those bringing the Tigers now within two and Tigers are gonna have the ball. This is an opportunity for the Tigers to capitalize. Yeah, big swing right here. Got three points already and a chance to put on more. Blaine sets up for three. Couldn't get that in the fall. Oh, they're gonna get Nate getting him with the body. That's two, two quick ones on Nate. Yep. And he's gonna come out as Fredlin that, comes in. That's a couple of shots that Levi's had but I tell you what, Jasper's doing a good job of contesting it. Even though they're open looks, they're getting a hand up and, and closing out on him quick, making it difficult on that three. Good ball movement by yeah, the Pirates. Led to an easy transition basket right that's, there. That's how you work a press. When you're just moving down there, you don't try to rush it too much and create the turnovers. Both teams doing a good job attacking that press. So right now, size advantage to Jasper, right? Exactly. Fredlin down there, but he's still, it's Campbell deflects that. It's a two on two matchup. He's gonna work it. And they're gonna call Carnahan with Carnahan a foul. Carnahan says no on the basket. So but Campbell he, will go to the line to shoot two for a free throw. Mike. Two teams are both our boys and girls looking just a little bit rusty. Um, just not uh, making shots that we've used to seeing them make as Campbell makes the first. Ro Robertson coming in for uh, Spa. You know, you, you mentioned just a minute ago, Josh, uh, size advantage for Jasper. You did notice earlier in, in warmups as well and pointed it out that didn't see 
Caden Roberts tonight. So uh, he's one that would come in and give us a little size normally. Not sure what's going on there. We, we hope the best for him. Right. Well, I'm sure we'll find out later. He could be out sick as Carnahan puts a three down. That's a big three. Big three. You know, good shooters, they just keep shooting. And, and he's a good shooter. Levi Carey's a good shooter. That, that's what they've got to do. They're going to try to work. Fredlin's got to play some, some – he's got to play big right here. Three-point bucket put up by Sawyer Willis. So the Tigers make a three, and the Pirates come down and answer with one. Tigers trail still by six. Got to find a little offense here. Good no-look pass into Avery. Fredlin could not get the rebound outsides there. Blaine getting his hands in there on it. Probably couldn't hear it at home as Jasper Coach is yelling at him, taking care of the ball. Good hands in there, but couldn't get it. Oh, my. Redman. Boy, the Tigers did everything right on defense, knocked it loose a couple times. You thought they were going to get it, and it results in a three-point opportunity for Jasper. Good teams will take advantage like that every chance they can get. Yep. And Fredlin gets the foul as it's going to send Blake Williams to the line to shoot one. He misses that. Good job by uh, Levi to go in there and get that ball. Open look for Carnahan, and he's going to put it down. Much needed he's as we are up. now about 33 seconds to go in this first quarter. You get a guy like Keaton Carnahan not going, and, and that can really be a spark for you. There's a steal right there by Parker. Got the opportunity. Good job. Couldn't quite put it up strong enough. Fredlin wow. got a hand on it, but it went right into the hands of Trawick, and he puts it up. Nice job by Trawick to, to get that and, and be able to, to put it up. Carnahan losing his footing, and that's going to be the final shot of the quarter. No good. Tigers right now still trailing 21 to 14. We'll take a break. Be back for the start of the second. Carnahan Farm, proud supporters of the Valley Springs Tigers, have their barn loaded with proven banner winning genetics from top breeders across the U.S. If you want to make a winning drive and hang purple banners in your barn, let Carnahan Farms help you banner up this show season. Contact them at 870-553-PIGS. That's 870-553-7447. Follow and like them on Facebook and Instagram at Carnahan Farms. Here we are, folks, here, start of the second quarter here as the Williams boys inbound it here. Ty over to Trawick. They're going to get Blaine on that one, being playing just a little too aggressive on it. Tigers are going to go with their pretty small lineup, Logan Avery covering the big. Running a five-guard set here. And Avery gets the block. Dribbles out of it. Good job by Parker, turns around. Carey with Ooh, a deep three, puts it down. That's what we needed. Sometimes you can turn around and hit that trailer right in, in transition, and he, he did not hesitate. Good assist there by Parker Spall, realizing he didn't have the lane to cut down and drive. Yeah. Let's get it to a shooter, he says. Oh, great double team as well. 
Parker comes up with that turnover. Absolutely. Carnahan sees him down here in the corner. Carey, oh, almost had a good idea to pass it out here to Avery. Now they're going to reset. Blaine's calling the offense. Says, let's reset. Let's go. Let's work the ball. Blaine to carry in the corner. Oh, couldn't get it. <laughs> Good work there by Trey Avery trying to get that <clears throat> offensive rebound. Yeah. But Trey, of course, throws it off of him. <laughs> Tigers now trail by four. Back into the game is Nate. He's going to come in for Parker. Got a good breather right there. Got to stay out of foul trouble before this second half. Willis with a move outside. He just works it all the way in, mm. and then to finish it off, Treywick comes in there and taps it in. Ooh. <laughs> Carey thought about it once again. Oh, if he'd Deflected. turned and, and hit Nate crossing that lane, might have had an easy dunk. At least it looked that way from up here. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't. We don't have anybody down there with a video board. Oh, just an overpass. But good job by Carey coming in and getting that loose ball. Oh, no foul call, but he gets his own rebound, puts it in, and good. That's what, still, we'll take it. Padding those rebounding stats. I said no foul call. It's probably actually a good no call, letting them play a little bit, not want to get too ticky-tack. Yeah, you know, on that offensive rebound, I was just about to say, good job by Nate not not getting his body into him, just using his size to get that rebound over the top. Ooh. And another three-point put up. I did believe that was Blake, Blake that put Williams. that one in. Yep. Fifteen on the shot clock. Carey in the corner, and he's put it down. Good job by Levi Carey. It gives him six for the night. Cuts it back to a four-point lead. Tigers have really got to extend out and guard those shooters, and when they do, Blake and Ty both can can uh, drive that basketball. Yeah, they've got speed and they, they can handle the ball well sure. as well. You got to close out, but be ready to. to uh... <laughs> and Carnahan, Carnahan comes down and answers on three of his own. This is an exciting game, Josh. Whew. That brings the score within three now. Tigers trail great, the Pirates. Great play on both ends. Yeah. Good job of Blaine coming off of that screen. Campbell loses the ball, finds Carnahan. He's got it. He's got a two-on-one matchup. But he's going to take all it all the way, the way puts it in. Strong. And a timeout by the Jasper coach. I don't know his name, but we'll take one with them. We'll be back. Wow, Kimberly, man, what an awesome play. Can you break that down for us? Um, I didn't see what happened. What play? You wouldn't hire an amateur to do that job. Why would you hire an amateur to do my job? Let me, Kimberly Keeter, with Farm Bureau Insurance, help you with your insurance needs. Please call me for all of your home, your auto, your health, and your life insurance needs. She wouldn't wear the same shirt. Hey, but we got it in here on Miss Kimberly Keeter here, one of our sponsors here with Farm Bureau Insurance. Uh, make sure if you have an insurance need, you go see all her just as you've seen her ad there. Uh, we're glad and thankful that she's part of a proud supporter of this program. Yeah, just don't ask her to call a basketball game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back for this exciting game after that timeout. So now one point lead. 
Jasper Pirates holding on so far. The Tigers really trying to step up that defense and, and cause the turnover a minute ago. Um, trying to get back in it. Ooh, turnaround put look. up by Blake. Coming into the game for the Pirates, though, that was Kanan Hudson. Uh, giving Campbell a little bit of a break. Good oh, pass. Good pass. With what a reverse. move. Kind of caught Jasper sleeping a little bit there. He just did. He had the ball before they realized it, and then he was I, able to just put it up. How do you not know where Nate Hillams is at all times? I don't know, but uh, he's kind of hard to miss. Maybe that skinny frame he slithered <laughs> in there Yeah. something. Bounce pass over and a deflected oh. by Nate. Carnahan might have, might have got in there as well. He was going up for the dunk, but Nate denied him as well as Carnahan. Three point by Hudson. That is going to fall short. Blaine gets in there for the rebound. Spall has Carnahan, or sorry, Carey. Good job by Jasper coming down and just really getting back in transition. Uh, lots of opportunities the Tigers thought they would have for an easy bucket, but Jasper quick to come back and get back on defense. Um, that that says that says a lot because this could very well easy on those cases be a runaway, and it's not been. Three on the shot. You got to put it up, and they're going to call a foul. Sure enough, savvy move there by. Blaine Robertson to get that shot off and draw that contact. I'm, I'm a little bit shocked as you were, sounds like, but hey, yeah, he, I, sometimes a shooter, you got to kind of lean into their body and yeah, I mean, it's it, it worst case for, for Jasper. I mean, it worked in our case in favor, and I mean, that's awesome. I mean, it gives us a chance now to take the lead. Uh, if I'm a referee, though, I'm probably not calling that, though, honestly, just with a shot clock you. being that close. Uh, if it was deeper or earlier in the, 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 the within the time frame, probably. Well, and the fact that you know you could tell Blaine was trying to get that foul, leaning in a little bit. But uh -huh. kudos to him for oh savvy play. And there's there's uh, Logan Avery returning the favor there, throwing it off of him. Ball back to Valley Springs. We'll take that. Your it's favorite play exactly. when the Tigers do it. Yeah, yeah, it's favorite whenever it's for us. Tie ball game, 2-11 to go. Nate got him off the ground, puts <laughs> it up. That works every time when Nate can get that offensive rebound. You know, mm. try to look, I've tried to do and look and see. Um, the difference is, you know, with some of our players that uh, from last year to this year, and, and Nate Hellams, you know, while well, he he played really well last year, and uh, he come in would often oftentimes give Dason breathers and stuff like that three point bucket, no good, but Blaine gets that rebound. Good job by Blaine going and getting that rebound, not just sitting back. Uh huh. And uh, one of the things that I've really liked about Nate has honestly been the fact that he has. It seems like he's settled down a little bit more under the goal. He's not going up and swiping as much. Right. Uh, he's just being more, there. Yeah, more straight up from that. If we haven't said it, we do want to welcome any Jasper fans that we have that might be tuning in. There's a Whoa! dunk by Nate Helms, and we're going to get excited because we're Valley fans. Great pass there. But uh, we do want to welcome any Jasper fans that are that are viewing, if there are any, and, and if we hope we're calling a fair game here. Jasper comes right back, and, and Ty Williams, no hesitation, draws that foul. Looked like that could have even been a shooting foul right to, to me. As, as Helms puts the dunk down. Oh, yeah, mm. we see that play a lot to Helms, and Treywick couldn't get that one to fall. Lane finds mm. Carey coming down in transition. Tries to pass <laughs> it over, but they're going to call that one out of bounds off the goal. You know, Josh, these last few minutes, the Tigers have had good pace. They've moved the ball up the court fast, and then everything's, their passes are on the money, and the, just the pace of the, the half-court offense as well has been really good 
for the Tigers. Deep three put up short, no good. Fredlin gets it. Carnahan telling Blaine, slow it down, slow it down. Let's just work this down. We're under 30 to go. Williams brothers up at the top of the key creating havoc for the two guards. Shot clock's off, so, so this game clock is, is it right here. Tigers 12. can work for this last second shot. Got a foul there. That's that's only the second team foul, so it's an out of bounds play. And that's three on Ty. Ty Williams. Uh, I know it went our way, but I can hear Jasper fans kind of calling for hook, and I kind of have to agree. Oh, oh my goodness, a three-point bucket by Carnahan to end the quarter off the glass, giving the Tigers a seven-point lead. 37-30 is the end of the score at the end of the first half. We're going to take a break as a much needed for us. We'll be back in just a few short minutes. 25 years of memories, 25 years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. 25 years of community. Because of you, we forged long-lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in 25 years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We are celebrating 25 years of First Community Bank, and the best is yet to come. Push to talk over cellular technology has found applications in a variety of industries where fast and efficient communication is crucial. It offers a convenient and scalable way to keep teams connected, regardless of their location within cellular network coverage. We keep your business connected, across the street or across the country. Ozark Communications has you covered. Tired of drinking the pinto of waters? Try switching to the Cadillac of waters. And then I saw her face. I'm a believer. And not a trace. A doubt in my mind. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. Aunt B's Bed and Biscuit, servicing all of your boarding needs that you have for your Bark Buddy. We have indoor and outdoor playgrounds that give your Bark Buddy the ultimate vacation while you are away. Aunt B, Toby, and the Bark Buddy crew proudly support the Valley Springs Tigers. Are you ready to build your dream from the ground up? Then look no further than Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation. With our team of highly skilled professionals, we're ready to tackle all your residential and commercial projects while delivering an unmatched level of quality, reliability, and affordability. Contact us today for a free estimate and build a better future with Stewart Construction and J&J Excavation, proud supporters of Valley Springs Athletics. Ansley with BJ Manufacturing. If you're in need of high quality hay moving or animal feeding equipment, 
Ask for our locally made products at your favorite farm supply store. You can also buy direct from my dad, Keith, by calling 870-437-2944. Check us out on Facebook or at bjmanufacturing.com. Thanks for your business, and go Tigers! Carnahan Farms, proud supporters of the Valley Springs Tigers, have their barn loaded with proven banner-winning genetics from top breeders across the U.S. If you want to make a winning drive and hang purple banners in your barn, let Carnahan Farms help you banner up this show season. Contact them at 870-553-PIGS. That's 870-553-7447. Follow and like them on Facebook and Instagram at Carnahan Farms. Kimberly, man, what an awesome play. Can you break that down for us? Um, I didn't see what happened. What play? You wouldn't hire an amateur to do that job. Why would you hire an amateur to do my job? Let me, Kimberly Keeter, with Farm Bureau Insurance, help you with your insurance needs. Please call me for all of your home, your auto, your health, and your life insurance needs. 25 years of memories, 25 years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. 25 years of community. Because of you, we forged long-lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in 25 years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We are celebrating 25 years of First Community Bank, and the best is yet to come. Push to talk over cellular technology has found applications in a variety of industries where fast and efficient communication is crucial. It offers a convenient and scalable way to keep teams connected, regardless of their location within cellular network coverage. We keep your business connected, across the street or across the country. Ozark Communications has you covered. All right, fans, we're back out of that halftime break. Josh, we're about a minute out re really quickly. What do you think about the Tigers' first half? I th Mike, you know, I know we struggled a little bit kind of getting some offense going early on in that first quarter there, kind of losing the ball. We had some open looks for the three points. Couldn't get them to quite fall. Uh, but there towards about the early part of the second quarter, the, the Tigers started to find a little bit of rhythm. Uh, I think kind of what sparked a little bit for us was that, that technical foul. Again, we don't not quite sure what that was. But that brought us within a couple points where we were trailing at five at one time. Uh, so that kind of got things a little calmer for us. I probably, you know, made it feel more of a, a closer game. But never since then. a big then, swing right there. Huge swing. But, you know, if I'm Jasper and, my, and I'm coach, I'm telling them, guys, keep pressing hard. Because, you know, they're still – it, it may be a seven-point difference. But Jasper's fighters. And they'll come out and they're going to – I expect – hard pressure and they're going to be aggressive on the boards i can fully agree bet on that right so tigers get the possession of this starting of the second half here traywick right there says no that pass and good start for the jasper pirates starting off this second half
Good shot put up with once again. Pirates there to rebound, but couldn't get it to fall the second time, and Helms pulls down that second chance. Avery in the corner puts a three to extend the lead to 10. You know, once once our Tiger shooters got going, they've been on fire, and, and that's really spurred us along. Between Carnahan and Levi Carey hit a couple in a row, and now Logan Avery drills one. Ooh, couldn't get that one, but Nate there to go ahead and get that rebound there. That Williams cat, you can't leave him open because no. he's hit a he's hit a few on us. Both of them, but but that was uh, Blake Williams. Oh, couldn't get that one to convert either. You know that was another thing that kind of helps. You were talking about having Carey and Carnahan going ahead and getting uh, their shots to fall. That's the other thing is finding Nate, getting him some open, yeah. easy buckets. I wouldn't say easy, but to him it looks easy. But for us, <laughs> Campbell turns around, nothing there, but he draws a foul. He'll go to line shooting too. I'll tell you what, uh, Campbell, he has made a conscious effort to try and get, to try and drive on Carnahan all night. A few times Carnahan's been successful defensively, but but this Campbell kid, he's uh, he's got some physicalness to him that, that gets in the lane really well. Our roster shows he's a six foot sophomore. And so he's definitely, he's playing against uh, Carnahan pretty tough there offensively and defensively. Step, no, somebody from Valley, I guess, stepped over the line. Got a little, little too, uh, maybe Avery. Jumped the gun a little bit. And he'll get that one to fall. Deep three by Carey. Hustling for it. Oh, <laughs> Blaine about had it off of him, but he caught sure it. Sure enough. It's like he's seen that move before. Just a little bit. Good defense right there by Avery, sticking with him the whole just, way. Yeah, just sticking straight up. Sorry, Willis tried to get it in there, but <laughs> oh, no look pass over to Carey. Baseline to Avery. Great look there, just didn't fall. Mike, one of the things that I, I see a lot of too is when our guys just relax and start having fun, uh, I think that's when the pressure comes off it, and just you don't see them. And, oh, Willis couldn't get that one to fall, but Treywick there couldn't get it to go either. Hells, oh, and Willis gets him. Oh, might have shoved off a little bit. I think so. There's finally going to be a foul call. You know, you get enough opportunities, you're going to convert one way or another. But my goodness, they're letting them play a little bit. That's going to be three on Nate. Yeah, I mean. I mean, you got a foul called. Uh, you're right. They they are letting him play a little bit there. Willis. We sure saw like, that. Yeah, uh -huh. it looked like he had a little bit of an elbow pushing him off. But, you know, I mean, Nate was right there on him. I'm mean, not saying that that excuses it because it is not something you're supposed to do. But I'll tell you, Logan Avery's down there fighting for that rebound, but he just. Good job. He lacks in size, you know, just a little bit against these bigger Jasper um, big men. Yeah, but you know where he lacks in size, though, his quickness is really just kind of makes it harder for these bigger guys to, oh, so that's the right idea. But Got to get it up just yep. a little bit more. Because they're doubling down on Helms whenever he's he's down there. So if you want that to work, like you said, they got to get it up a little higher. Put it up towards the goal. Let him just come it down with it for the dunk. Blake couldn't get it to fall. Campbell with the rebound of his own off the glass. <laughs> And that's going to be good. They're crashing the boards pretty heavy. And, and they're, Jasper's doing a really good job of working the matchups. You know, if they have a size advantage, they're going to that strength. Yeah. Carnahan on the elbow. Now it's Valley's turn to work that offensive glass. <laughs> he saw his guy slip. Had to take advantage of it. They closed it off. And Carey 
drops it down for three. And a timeout called. I believe Coach O called that. We'll take one with him. We'll be right back. Tired of drinking the Pinto of waters? Try switching to the Cadillac of waters. And then I saw her face. of drink all right folks here we are we are back now to the timeout here jasper's ball williams to williams talking about in that timeout that savvy move by keaton carnahan realizing the guard up top had slipped so he drives the lane, draws the defense, and then kicks it out to the wing to an open Levi Carey. Got a foul there. Looks like on Parker Spa. Yep, they're going to get him on Parker. That's a third team foul for Valley Springs this quarter, as opposed to no team fouls by Jasper so far. Ty Williams takes the... Could have had the longer jump, decided to go ahead and come on in as uh, I believe that was Carey that fought through the block. Easy jumper there. 43-36. Carey catch him moving in the air. Oh. A little short jumper of his own. If he can do that pump fake right there, because because you know they're flying out at him at the three-point line now, and hit that mid-range. That's silky smooth. And they're going to take, try and take advantage right there, that mismatch. Pirates mm. in there hard to, to crash the boards. Ty Williams, nothing there. Parker Spall with the Good rebound. Job. Spall going to get it strong. They're going to say he, he might have traveled. Or ah, yeah, I think it was. I think it was. Uh oh. That is going to be a foul. That'll be four on Coach Nate. Coach is going to have to get him out. Looks like Fredlin's going to be set to check in right here. This is right there, those that you got to say, Nate, you got to be smart on that. Yeah, and he knew but it. But, you know, he's he's been working the glass on both ends, and it just gets to a point where you jump for the ball because it's, it's out there. Tough. Redland played some er some early minutes, and he did a good job, you know, containing Spencer Trawick, their their big man. So he can match up with him okay. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. He's a younger player, but he's coming in, and he's you know he's not letting the the age or even the experience kind of uh, intimidate him. And he's just he's just standing strong, playing strong there. So. And that's the t fifth team foul there by Valley Springs. So it's going to be a two-shot foul coming up here for Melijah Campbell. This guy right here, he's, when he gets going to the basket, he's tough to stop because he's got that little spin move in the lane. That's almost where you got to really quickly bring that double-team trap on him, get him out of sorts a little bit, surprise him. But he's, he's quick. He's taking advantage of the little size advantage he's got. Good rebound there by Blaine to track it down. Well, he wanted that outlet pass, but held on to it. Carry open for a three, and he's going to put it down. He is money more times than not, Josh. I mean, you give him an open look like that, and it's, it's almost cash money every time. We'll get this score in for you. I apologize. Tigers now with a 12-point lead. Good play there, catching him on the baseline, but he just couldn't finish. Carey coming down. Defense! 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 
Wisely gonna set the offense up. Just got confirmation. Caden Roberts is actually out with an illness. Mm. Um, so, Caden, oh, if you're what watching, a pass there. good job. So, Caden, if you're watching, man, hope you're getting to feeling better real soon. That sure sickness enough. stuff is going around. That's the end of that. Sorry, not the end, but that's a timeout call by Jasper's coach. We're going to stay right here with it there. And uh, Mike, yeah, we, Josh, we do hope, as you were saying, that, that Caden gets to feeling better because he's a, a vital part to this team, especially. You know, when a guy like your big man, Nate Helms, gets gets in foul trouble and you've got Fredlin that can come in, but but that's where Caden would come in as well. But, you know, not just not just with him playing, too. One of the things that Caden really brings is he really brings some charisma to the team. Uh, he's got, I mean, I've, I've seen him out there. He's, he's got some crazy antics and stuff, and so he, he likes to have fun and kind of keeps the team really kind of melded together. And, Sure, so. and we've seen it. We've seen it a lot in practice. He's a leader on the court. You know, he's directing defensive and offensive. He's directing a lot of stuff that, little stuff that goes unseen by a lot. But but you know, you you might catch on to if you watch enough. Right. So out of that timeout break, we're under a minute to play in this third quarter here. Blake Williams couldn't get that one. All the power is firing for the rebound. They crashed the boards hard. Campbell trying to get up there. He'll draw a foul. He's still going to go to the line to shoot a couple. Who that foul that was going to be on Fredlin. That'll be his second. Yeah, Campbell, he's a hard nosed player. Not afraid to get in there and scrap with the, the biggest of them. He honestly, he's helped us out a little bit at the free throw line tonight. He's he's not made all of his free throws, but as he catches in right there, I don't know if that's the announcer jinx, I guess, backwards jinx, something like that. <laughs> right. Blaine directing traffic, shot at 10. It looks 10. like there's six, seven second difference in the shot clock and the game clock. Better do it now. There it is. What a great, Puts what a great in. offensive plan right there. Sure was. And that's the end of three, 52, 37 is the score. We're gonna stick right here, folks. Hey folks, just also wanna let you know, this is actually gonna be our last broadcast of the year 2023. Uh, no, I don't mean the last broadcast of the season, uh, but of this actual year, this will be our last home broadcast. Uh, coming up, you know, sh in the next few weeks, uh, Valley Springs, they won't be having any home games until after the first of the year. And so what you'll have to see as we get that pushed into your, uh, on your screen, we're gonna get that play in there. And uh, so as you can see there on your screen there, uh, we've got you know our boys here uh, later this week. They'll be going to Farmington, playing the Farmington Classic. Um, right behind that, our girls are gonna be going to the Billy Ply Classic and flipping. Uh, and then starting conference play, December the 12th, our boys and girls go to flipping and then turn right around the following Friday, I believe that is, uh, they'll be going to Lincoln. Uh, and then, of course, as you can see there, our boys will be playing in the Border War Classic there at NAC. And our next home broadcast will be on January the 9th. That will also be a conference game. I believe that's going to be against Elkins that night. But there's going to be other action going on over the Christmas break. Be sure to check the schedule out on the Valley Springs website. Uh, you can see all the scheduled games and times and locations uh, for that. So definitely don't want to miss any action if you can. I know that uh, both teams, I believe, are going to be playing in the NAC uh, tournament coming up over Christmas break. Logan Avery gets that and puts yeah, that Josh, one in. All those games 
good games and and I was, I was gonna say the unfortunate thing is we don't get to bring you any of those right they're all they're all away games and during that Christmas break but I know you know if there's any streams at all you'll get to enjoy them and just if you follow the Tigers uh, you can check them out on social media and, and, and uh, find out how they've done as coming out of the break Logan Avery being really active on that offensive end right now sure is one of the cool things, Mike, that uh, about these games is more and more schools are providing a live stream of some sort. Uh, and so that's given a lot of our fans and a lot of you guys an opportunity as Blake Williams puts up a three and down, uh, gives, them an, gives you guys an opportunity to be able to watch those games, cheer them on when you can't physically go. Yes. Uh, hey, for those of y'all that don't know, I'm kind of anxious to see it. I don't know if I'll make the trip, but I'd like to. But Elkins got a new gym this year, and so uh, I'm sure I may look at the schedule and if I'm able to, to go and watch and be a fan, uh, I may go just check out their their gymnasium. You know, it would have to be more amenable uh, to live stream teams because we know from years past doing regionals and doing state down there, it, it was difficult to, to find a good spot to set up. Oh, yeah, we were literally almost in each other's lap with our setup. And, um, but you know, I, it was difficult as far as space-wise goes. But can't really complain when oh, the, no. when the school for sure allows us to come in and do it. And they didn't have to, and so we're thankful for that. But yeah. Uh, but you know, just kind of like our gym. You know, our gym is older. Uh, it wasn't built for live streaming. Mine <laughs> that wasn't even a glimmer in anyone's mind. Um, so I mean, as time allows, maybe one day we'll have a newer gym that will accommodate more and more schools to come. Campbell goes up and puts it up easy. Smart play by defense, not fouling. Six and a half to go in this game. Tigers lead by 14. Carey open again, and he puts it down. He is not afraid to pull it at any time. No, he's not. From any distance. He's the team leading scorer right now with 19, at least on the floor, and a steal by Parker Spa over to Ro Robertson. Carey. Gonna do it the old-fashioned way. He's having a game. He settled in. He started being comfortable. You know, Josh, we, we a lot of times talk about towards the end of the game, who we would say our player of the game is. And I had a player in mind, and I'll be honest, it wasn't <laughs> Levi Carey, but he's quickly changing my thoughts. Uh, I, I think you were probably gonna go with Carnahan. Uh, and you know, I think if I was gonna pick it by the half, Carnahan's probably gonna get mine in the first half, but sure, the second sure. half. Uh, Logan Avery, are you probably Logan Avery? Okay. I, I like the way Logan Avery has played tonight on the defensive end as well as the offensive end. He just he just brought a lot of intangibles to to the offense tonight, and he's had to a little bit because of Nate Helms in foul trouble. Right. But I tell you, it's hard to go against 21 points, Levi Carey. Fixed to be. I don't. No, that's well, that's Blaine Robertson, Ro yeah. Robertson at the free throw line. But and I don't know how many threes Levi's hit. I would say. I'd the say majority most of his of points them? have come from threes. That's and, for sure. Yes. I mean, is it plausible that he's hit seven? Just doing the math? Yeah, I would say so. Tyson Davis there, he's in the game. Uh, looks like we're seeing a couple of changes there. Tyson Davis in, uh, Keenan Hudson who's in. And I believe that's the only two that I see the change. Carnahan, smooth off the glass, smooth like butter. <laughs> He is very good when he gets in the air, you know, to, to put it up off the glass or put it up close to the rim. I mean, even for his size, I mean, he's got the, the hang time. Yes. Um, to just be able to go up and just glide through the air. So, <laughs> so that's going to be a foul against Levi. Coming in, number 25, Lance Flood. I believe that's some of the floods from around here. His relatives. Yeah, we've had a couple of floods that have 
have produced some good, good games for us. Yep. I have to say that's one from around here anyway, at least relatives, just simply because I've seen some floods floating around in this gymnasium. Good steal by Nate, not drawing that foul. And there's Carnahan. I mean, I, I mean, I just, he's so athletic to be able to transition that from his right hand to his left hand that quick and get up strong with it. I love it. So be careful there, Nate, not to swipe down. Carnahan thought about it. Oh, oh in the feet. What a pass and dish, and what a dunk. He crammed it down. He, you know, when he gets a two-hand dunk, he gets those knees up high. <laughs> yeah, let's just keep from kneeing somebody in the face. <laughs> oh, sure. Love it. That's two tonight for Nate Holmes. Two dunks. And it's always the two-handed dunk. Right. With authority. Ooh, almost We're in gonna have out. to see if we can get a one-handed dunk from him one of these days. Just mix it up. Come on, Nate, don't be so predictable. Ooh, Avery. There's my boy Logan Avery with a three. It's a three. Mike, we were talking about uh, Carnahan leading the team with 21. Or not Carey. Carnahan, Carey with 21, but Carnahan's right behind him at 20. Sure enough. He says, I good heard you. Good turnaround, good turnaround shot put yeah, up. It was. He says, I heard you. I want that, that MVP title back. Oh, he's working it. Hellums for three. Ooh. No. Oh, oh what a steal. <laughs> 22 <laughs> points. Carnahan takes the team total. He just literally took it out of his hands. I mean. And I know, Mike, we're seeing a couple of the guys that's in there right now for Jasper, some younger players that probably don't see much playing time. Right. Maybe this is just a some strong chance move. here. Didn't, didn't make it, but. Robertson. Robertson with three. And they got to see here in just a minute, you're probably going to start seeing Coach O going ahead and start putting in his substitutes. Good drive wow. by Kanan Hudson, putting that one in. Good body control and the ability to get that up. Sure was. You know, in all this, we're talking in jest about Levi Carey and Carnahan and, and Logan Avery, you know, trying to be MVP. Not a one of them are playing selfish basketball. No, They're all, all dishing the basketball. It's so fun to watch. And as you said it, here comes some of the subs. We got Spa and Fredlin coming back in, and we got Isaac Garvin checking in for the first time tonight. All right. Good, good job. job. Yeah, good job by those starters coming out. Sure enough. Uh, they had to fight for this game because they did. Jasper didn't lay down for them. First half, Jasper had our number, to be honest. First, first quarter and a half. But you know what, Mike? I think a lot of times teams, even Valley Springs, we're only 3A. And I say only as a, as a bad thing, it's not. But when you look at 3A and you're based off of size and you know as well as I do, you, when the higher in classifications you go, you're, you're gonna see a lot more skilled players, a lot more uh, talent that's there. And so good addition to Fred and get some points and stats on there. But you know, sometimes it's very easy for a team like Valley, 3A thing, oh, we got Jasper, they're a 1A right. school coming in. This should be a walk in the park based off of conference. But I'm going to be honest, we've played some 1A schools such as Jasper and uh, other, another timeout called by Coach O. And I think that they're going to go ahead. We're going to stick with it too. Substitutions are coming in. He's just going to say continue play. We're not going to right. talk about anything. We just want to get some players in. And I do not know. Okay, we got, uh, let's see. That's Donovan. Got Roberts came in. Yeah, Roberts, uh, Donovan Wilson, yep. and uh, gosh. Guys, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out number 25. James Cone. Cone. James Cone. Of course. Excuse me, I had to, had to look down and see him. <laughs> James, don't call me Brandon Cone. That's right. We f Forgive us, sometimes we, we get to look in at players and sometimes from where we're at, it's harder to see. You right. wouldn't think so. You know, 
Yeah, sorry, just to say, going back to that, sometimes you just misjudge teams based off conference, and they can come back to bite you really quick. And I think, I feel like Valley Springs kind of did that a little bit with Jasper uh, starting off, because they come out just really aggressive. Ooh, good Roberts, job. Roberts, up and under. 15 seconds to go, folks. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly right now just completely nice say move. thank you to all of our sponsors, faculty and administration for allowing us the opportunity to, to be here and stream this game. Uh, don't forget, folks, that you wanna make sure, final score 82 to 44. Don't forget, folks, you wanna make sure to uh, follow the team, whether it be via social media, whether it's going to be going to the games or whatever the case may be. Uh, go out and support these Tigers as they have a lot of travel they're going to be doing this month. Uh, there will be some localer games. I say localer, more local games such as NAC that they'll have some games at. So if you're able to go be support them, um, we're going to be going ahead and um, ourselves again. We won't be streaming until after the first of the year. We'll come back with conference play and we're going to be busy, busy, busy. But again, I want to say thanks. Once again, to all of our staff, faculty, all of our sponsors making this possible. And uh, we wish you all the best of luck. And folks, we won't see you, but Merry Christmas to you. That's right. And uh, be safe on the holidays for all your travels. And until then, we'll see you guys after the first of the year. Have a good night.